Smithing right lead from the South Four champion. And the upshot is that Simpson's in the corner being treated for a cut. Marvellous shot from the overhead camera. Gives you an idea of the reach of Hagler. So the reach has told the fact he can stand off and stab and cut his man has suddenly proved to be a significant factor in this championship. And Hagler was really worked up at the end of that previous round when Simpson presumably didn't hear the bell and struck him a couple of times after the bell. And Hagler, he really did give him a glare. And that fifth round has uh, brought a lot of confidence back into the champion. And that right lead from Hagler is now proving to be a very dominant weapon. And Simpson bleeds again. Simpson really does have to move in, stay close if he can, duck and weave underneath the right lead, because if he walks onto that right lead much more, that cut may well be too much for the corner to handle. Well, Simpson's winning friends here for the courage he's showing here in standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hagler. But he's caught the first knockdown. Four, and Simpson's five, cut and hurt six, the sixth. Seven, and that cut's looking eight, much, much worse. Okay. And the end may well be very close. Oh, now then, can Simpson get through this round and get back to repairs? He's trying to fight, but he's being out for. Tremendous efforts by Simpson. But he's coming off first and he's over again. And this might be the end. His legs seem to have gone. He's put it all in and it hasn't worked. And it stops and it's over. And Hagler has retained the middleweight championship of the world. A brave try by Simpson. But you only have to look at him to see what happens. So Hagler makes his sixth successful defence of the title and the British effort to regain it has gone by the board in a most dramatic fashion. There were moments when it looked as if Simpson might do well in this fight but in the end the long reach of Hagler and the man's sheer ability and cutting punching has taken its toll. And it's a delighted Marvin Hagler who holds the belt aloft, it's still mine. Well, that was the way it ended. And there's despair, sadness, disappointment, all those things in the corner of Simpson. He came a long way to try to win that belt, but none of it was any use. He had a bad first round, and then three rounds in which he looked as though he might be able to come to grips with Hagler and solve the problems that this good champion set. But it didn't work.
And really, the whole story of this fight was in that long southpaw right of Hagler's. That was the one that did the damage on the eye, and that was the one that brought Simpson to his knees. And again and again, from these overhead camera shots, you get some idea of the long arms of this man, and there was nothing Simpson could do about it. Crouched there, having to take the punches to the side of the head, and the referee didn't take long to decide that the British challenger had had enough. So the menacing, marvellous Marvin Hagler does it again. And another British effort in America comes to nothing. His 